Well, week two of our 12-week workout series is now in the books. Some contestants are already seeing good results, while others are still trying to get in the groove. Here's Sully with a recap. It's week two for our new group, and Jocelyn Fisher has already cleared one hurdle. She made it through one week. Well, I had moved in, in I don't know how long, and I'm pretty much like a couch potato. I will walk or whatever like that, but nothing, nothing like this. Michelle Peak is dealing with a frustrating first week. She lost just under a pound in week one. Came after um, uh, the um, Fourth of July holiday and a week at the Miss Arkansas pageant, which involved a lot of socializing that I probably shouldn't have done. Sarah Chaffin is in fourth place after one week. Uh, my goal is to stay on the top half of that board. I want to keep losing, and as long as that number keeps on going down, I'm, I'm motivated. Jeff's message, don't let one bad week early in the program bother you. Like right now, it's just the point where they're just starting to figure a little bit out. You can't get, you know, don't get down about a pound or, or anything. I mean, you just, consistency is the name of the game in weight loss, in the way you eat and showing up. If you show up and you eat a little better, you're going to lose weight. And all three of these ladies have good reasons for starting a program like this. My mother had died at the start of the year, and I had gained a little bit of weight, so I was anxious to kind of get started uh, exercising and get some of that weight off. I thought about my health. You know, I'm getting older. Things just not getting any better unless I get moving and, you know, start working out just, just to be healthier, really. I have a three-and-a-half-year-old daughter, and... She's very energetic, and I need to be able to keep up with her, and I want to be healthy and be a good role model for her. This is Steve Sullivan for the 12-Week Workout. And remember, you can catch our 12-Week Workout series each Sunday right here on Channel 7 News Weekend Edition.